So I'm starting out with primer and I'm using the Fenty Beauty one. So just massaging that all over my face. Then for foundation, I'm using one of my new favorite ones, which is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable. So it comes with this little applicator. I don't know, it's kind of odd. It's kind of not that hygienic, but you know, I guess, what can you do? So I'm applying it to my skin and then blending it in with a beauty blender. And you can see how full coverage it is. It is amazing. I love it so much. Then I'm taking the Nude Sticks Nudies Stick in Deep Maple A or eh, I don't know how you pronounce it, but I'm just using that to cream contour. I actually love this, even though it's super warm toned, I feel like it looks so nice on the skin once it's all been blended out. So just using my beauty blender again to blend that. Then to prime my eyelids, I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape. This is like my new favorite eye primer. I feel like it makes my eyeshadows last so long and it just gives such a nice base for them. So. I'm applying some of that and then setting it using this Astralis pressed powder in the shade Natural with an F, I mean, sorry, an E52 brush. I'm pretty sure this one is. Then dipping into the Morphe 35F palette, I'm taking this kind of transition-y shade. It's just like a soft brown and I'm just buffing this into the crease. The next shade I'm taking is a slightly deeper warm tone brown and I'm just basically doing the same thing so I'm just building up the color intensity in the crease and kind of building up the browns to make everything look, I don't know, like it's got a lot of dimension. Then going in to the slightly, I'm just basically going along this matte line of shadows so I'm not going to explain every single brown, but you guys can see what I'm doing and see what colors I'm picking up. Now I'm going into this much more warm toned brown. It's quite a lot deeper as well. And I've switched over to an E25 brush just so I can really build up the color intensity um, and kind of pack it on in the outer corner. I love this brush because you can pack and blend at the same time. And then I just switch over to the fluffier blending brush just to make sure that all those shades are super blended together. Then just picking up some more of that cocoa-y kind of shade, I'm starting to really pack this on in the outer corner. So as you can see, I pick it up on the side of the E25, pack it on and then use the tip of the brush to blend out my edges. And here I'm going in with the matte black from the palette and I'm just starting to build this up in the outer corner as well. So just pressing it on lightly and blending lightly as well. Then I just go in with an E37 brush with no product on it and I'm just basically blending a bone. Then for the lid shade I'm using this beautiful like burnt terracotta orangey shade. It's so gorgeous and I'm just pressing it onto my lid using my finger because that's how I feel like you get the best pigment. And then just going back in with the E25 brush and blending out the edges. And because I lost a bit of the black intensity in the outer corner, I just picked up some more of the black shade and started to pack that in the outer corner again just to make sure I still had the nice intensity I wanted and then just back in with the E39 and I blended the edges again. Then I'm just using a Models Prefer Cold Pencil to tight line and then do a little line along my lash line and I took an E15 brush and just smudged that eyeliner out so it was nice and smoky. Then I just coated my lashes with some Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Mascara and I applied the Klepke lashes in the style Ibiza, I think. Um, so yeah, just pop those on and that completed the eye look for now. Then moving on to the face, I'm concealing my under eyes and down the center of my face using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Thought I'd use something besides my shape tape for once in my life, but yeah, 
I wanted to switch it up. So I'm just using my Beauty Blender again just to blend this into the skin and it gave me a nice highlight and just helped conceal the areas I wanted it to. So to set the concealed areas in place, I'm using my Inglot powder in the shade 503. So it's a matte highlight shade and I just used a powder sweep brush to press it into the skin. And then to set the rest of the face, I use the Astralis pressed powder again. Um, I think this is an F20 brush and I'm just basically applying that all over. Then I'm using my bronzer from my Inglot palette, which I think is the shade 507, but it will be listed down below. And I'm just using an F23, which is one of my favorite brushes, just to contour and bronze up my face. So I put it all around the perimeters and down my nose, under my bottom lip, and my jawbone. And for blush, I used the blush in number 47 from Inglot. Um, which is this super pretty, corally, peachy kind of blush. So yeah, just applied that to my cheeks. And then to highlight, I used the Stila Heaven's Hue Highlighter in Kitten, which as you can see is absolutely beautiful. It's like a putty highlighter. It's really odd, the consistency, but it's so beautiful. So I would highly, highly recommend these highlighter powders. Then moving back onto the under eyes, I'm taking that warm toned brown shade on my E25 brush and just starting to buff this underneath the lower lash line. Then I'm picking up the matte black from the palette again and I'm just using the E15 brush from earlier and I'm just basically pressing this right up into my lower lash line to make it smoky and a bit thicker looking. Then I used this beautiful highlight shade from the palette and as you can see my face when I realized how intense it was so I just used um, a little tapered kabuki brush to blend it out but it is so gorgeous. I love this highlight shade and I also applied that to my inner corners as well. And then I'm just going back in with that coppery rust shade that I used on the lid and I'm just applying some of that to the inner portion of the lower lash line as well. And then I just lined my waterline with my black liner and applied some bo bottom lash mascara. Then for lips, I'm lining them using my Maybelline Nude Whisper Lip Liner which is my all time favorite nude lip liner at the moment. So I just outlined them and then I filled them in using Colourpop Lippy Stick in the shade Cookie. And that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. This mascara is honestly absolute bullshit.